Well, good morning. Um, you, you might, uh, if you're trying to get the Witcher graphic novel, you might see that there's a library edition and an omnibus edition and wonder, hey, what's going on there with that? So I have here volume one of the Witcher graphic novel, uh, and this is the omnibus edition. Um, you can see here on the end, and uh, maybe you can't see it, it's kind of in red. But there's omnibus right there and then volume one right here in red. Um, and it's a paperback. I don't know if they're always paperback, but this one obviously is. You open it up, and the pages are good, good quality. It doesn't look like, you know, it looks like, you know, like a normal graphic novel. You know, this is just it's a graphic novel. So then, um, when Volume 2 came out, I couldn't find an, omni an omnibus edition. So I had to get it in library edition, and I didn't know what that was. And I was like, well, it's kind of expensive, so... I guess it's just taking a chance. And so then this monster came in, and the first thing you can obviously tell is how huge it is. It is massive. I mean, this, I'll hold it up next to this. Eh. You can see the size difference right away. So obviously the first big distinction there is that the library edition is much larger. Um, and this makes the pages inside look a lot more stretched, I think. You can't really tell on this camera because it's, I'm recording this on my phone so you really can't tell but the pictures themselves look very <clears throat> look very stretched Ugh. Yeah, there's just no way you're going to be able to tell i don't think maybe i can do something to improve the lighting here uh, the, well anyways the pictures themselves look like they're stretched they, they look a little bit like bilbo baggins you know a little bit stretched you know and uh that, that's that's the first thing. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, obviously, the stories are a lot better in Volume 1 than in Volume 2, but I guess that's pretty subjective, too. Another thing I've noticed is that um, on the library edition, um, it's hardcover. I don't, I don't know if library editions are always hardcover, but this one is. In fact, I couldn't find a soft, find a, a soft cover. And if you look right here, rather than saying Omnibus, it says right there, the, li uh, the Witcher Library Edition. Or it says in the edition, but it says library. And then right here it says volume two. So um, those are all the no all the changes that I noted. Oh, well, no, there's one other thing worth mentioning. The pages themselves. Now, on the library edition, they seem, it might just be me. Maybe I'm wrong about this. But when I feel it in my hands, it feels like, it feels like the paper is thicker. I don't know if that's just me or not. And then you get to, you know, the the omnibus edition, and the pa the pages feel like regular graphic novel pages. Maybe that's just me. You know, I'm not going to say that that's... I don't know. It, it's really hard to hard to figure out. It, it, it feels to me like the papers are, and the pages are thicker on the library edition. And obviously, it's massively large. So if you don't like one graphic novel that's, like, massively taller than your other ones, you're probably not going to like the library edition. Um, also, I noticed that the library edition is a bit more expensive. Uh, for this omnibus paperback, it was uh, $25 list price. And the library edition list price was $50. So, I mean, that's like a, you know, that's a pretty pretty good cost difference. It's like buying two of those for the cost of one of these. I mean, it's really it's really up to what you're wanting. Um, okay, there, I thought that maybe the library edition was skinnier, but no. No, it's, it's, it's bigger in every way. So if you were wondering what the difference is between an omnibus edition and a library edition, there you got it.